Go look at some of the green glove material. It's, been, it's just a shorter version of one of the ones we just did. You do a lead hook to a rear uppercut. Okay? Things I want you to work on is not try again. I had to call myself on YouTube because I was just like, yeah, this is okay. <laughs> so don't try again. Work your angles. Right? So I can step to the side and come in, boom, okay? I can step to this side and come in. I can come in straight and angle off. I can come in straight and angle off. Right, so she comes, lead hook. I know it's lead hook to rear uppercut. Lead hook, rear uppercut. So for the hook, I can evade. I can bob and weave. Maybe. I can cover. Right? I can shoulder stop. Right? If it's a wide hook, it's a tight hook, I might not be able to get away with that. If it's a wider hook. And then the uppercut, you can cover this way. You can cover this way. You can bring the elbows in from one side, elbow in from the other side. You can shift out. Okay? You got some options, and that's all it is. Lead hook to rear uppercut to the body. She comes in lead hook to rear uppercut. Okay, we work on that. All right. Ring glove combination. Lead uppercut, rear, or lead hook, rear uppercut. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Jab, rear uppercut to the rear hook. Yeah, it's the last one from the greens for hands. Hands only. Right? Once again, I can angle as I jab. Okay? I can angle through the whole thing. Or I can even change angles. Okay? But I'm working jab, rear uppercut, lead hook. Okay? You can go jab, rear uppercut, retract and come back to the rear hook but you can jab rear uppercut right to the hook. Okay, play around with both. See what you like. Any questions? Jab, rear uppercut, rear hook. Get some mirrors! You cheeky bastard! <laughs> oh, oh, I didn't get me. You didn't get me, but I would have been good if you did.